We're looking at the risers and sliders from college football. And Nolan, let's start with the guys that helped their cause last week. And really one of the stars of college football early this season, Oklahoma State quarterback Brandon Whedon. And he really took over that game in the second half against Texas A&M. Showed outstanding poise, has a very strong arm. He's a guy that could get looks from the second to third round. I think a lot of people were expecting Ryan Tannehill to be the star quarterback in that game. Whedon really outshined him. Arizona State upset USC last week, and one of the big factors in that was linebacker Vontez Burfick. Yeah, he had a key interception right before halftime that I think really keyed that victory. Uh, took it back um, most of the way. He's a guy that's got great take on strength. He's very physical. I think he's a solid first round prospect. Yeah, he's got all the physical tools, a little undisciplined at times. Sticking in the Pac-10, Trevin Wade, the cornerback from Arizona. They've gone against some tough teams early and he's been impressive. Yeah, he faced three top 10 teams the last three weeks and he's a guy that stood out even despite the, the, the losses. Against Stanford, I thought he was very good, uh, even against Oregon. You know, he's a guy that's manned up very well. I think he's really put himself in, in the middle rounds, third to fourth round prospect. Now on the opposite side of things, the Sliders Nebraska defensive tackle. Yeah, Jared Crick has never been hurt in the past, never missed any games. But he's a guy that does have tendonitis in his knees, missed last week's game against Wyoming with a concussion. And I think the durability factor is an issue that could affect his stack. Now the quarterback from South Carolina, Steven Garcia, we know he's had his ups and downs throughout his career there, and now it looks like he's sliding. Yeah, he's lived in Steve Spurrier's doghouse the last couple years. Uh, you know, he's been suspended so many times. He's a guy that was benched in the fourth quarter last week, and I, I think he's still a solid late-round prospect, but he, after that benching, I think his stock has taken a hit. Another slider was one of our players to watch last week, Texas A&M wide receiver Jeff Fuller. Yeah, he's a guy that caught his first two touchdown passes against uh, Oklahoma State last week, but you know, when it came to making plays on that ball, coming back for it, even slipping downfield, he, he had a hard time. You know, he struggled to separate. He's a guy to me that definitely heard his stack this past weekend. Yeah, it was such a crazy turn of events in the second half in that game. That's the risers and sliders for this week. For the best scouting information, check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.